Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. In today's SQL Accounting System training, we'll talk about maintain chart of account. In SQL, there are six main modules: general ledger, customer or AR, supplier or AP. These three modules consider as accounting module. When there is a transaction that do not involve item or quantity, it belongs to this tree. So if you try to key in a transaction with quantity and item, for example, invoice will belong to the bottom one, sales, purchase, stock, we consider as stock module. Now, let's begin with general ledger, maintain chart account. When you install SQL, after installation of SQL, you can see that there is already a default chart account ready for you, meaning you do not need to start from zero. And the way SQL accounting system chart account structure is we help you to categorize all the account into all these categories current asset, current liabilities, expenses, and so on. So, what you need to do is just add on, edit, or delete unwanted account. Now, give an example. Let's say under expenses, you have a new expenses called in the water. So how to create? Just click on expenses. Look at what is the last number have been used. For example, it's 923-000. So the next number should be 924. So what you need to do is just click on expenses, click new. So the GL code will be 924-000, meaning this is the main account and put in the water now you get your new account so this is how simple to create a account in sql what if you want to do sub account or you separate out the account accordingly for example in gsd era many people will preset the tax code so Let's do for stationary. You need to create two sub account, one with GST, one is without GST. So you can click on stationary, click new. So the GL code for the sub account should follow the main account 921-001, the first sub account. So stationary with GST. And you wish to key in is called the Tax code is TX. Then you click OK. Now we have another sub account. Click on the stationery again. Click new. So this time will be 921-002. This will be stationery from non-GST register. So you purchase from non GST registered person, the tax code will be NR. So you have these two sub account. Let me show you how this works. For example, you want to do a payment voucher for stationery. I'll teach this cash book entry payment voucher later on. What I want to show you in SQL, the account code is not important because you can use the description stationary to select account in this example i can select stationary with gst and you can see the tax code is auto show on when i select stationary from non register the tax code will appear accordingly so it is advisable for you to preset the tax code else what will happen is Let's say we use a account called printing. So you can see there's no tax code come up, meaning that the user need to manually go and select which tax code to be used. And it, and this is not easy for a person that not very familiar with GSC tax code. So if possible, try to preset the tax code in your chart of account. Let's do an, another example. I have a 
bank account called May Bank. This May Bank should be a sub account for Cash App Bank under Current Asset. What I need to do is go to Current Asset, look at my Cash App Bank, click New. So the number should be 310-001, a sub account May Bank. That's all. You can see the linking is to the parents. So this is how SQL Charter Account work. Now, there's one thing I would like you to remember is for all sales and sales adjustment, you must remember to put in the industrial code for your company. Let's say my industrial code is selling software. So it will be 46510. So, do it for all this. Four six. Four six five one zero. And discount allowed. Also need to do. This is the cost for all output tax. You need it to separate according to different industrial code and appear inside your GST zero three submission form. So, meaning, if you have multiple industrial code, you need to create multiple sales account. So, do remember this. That's the only important thing you need to remember under maintain chart of account. So, that's all for today. If you have time, do drop by at my Facebook. It's at facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page. So you can have all the latest information regarding GST and also SQL accounting system. Or you want to watch previous tutorial video, just go to my website, syntech.com.mind, click on the YouTube and you can see all the tutorial video is ready for you. So again, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.